Mr. Speaker, sir, it was very interesting uh, that uh, Honorable Ngavoka, for the first time in the past eight years, gave a relatively comprehensive take on taxation. And obviously we know where that comes from. The people from FRCS who are obviously helping him, form our staff who may have left under dubious uh, 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 reasons, Mr. Speaker, sir. But what is really interesting is this, that, that like most of the people from the other side, there is no rationality in the policy. He said for one of the things he'll do, firstly, is that he will increase taxation for corporates, will go up to 28% or whatever. Then all foreign companies will all go up to 33%. So we would like everybody in this country to know, all businesses, large or small, small, micro, medium, whatever, you'll pay 28% tax. Those who are even exempt will pay tax. And we also want all foreign companies to know that they will now pay 33% tax. Many of the resorts, Mr. Speaker, sir, in Fiji, are on island resorts in particular, owned by foreigners. So we want them to know, we want their staff to know, that they will all pay 33% corporate tax. And let's see what will happen after that. Let's see the level of confidence in investing and reinvesting in Fiji, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, the other point he said is that he was going to get uh, uh, Water Authority Fiji and other um, uh, industries to pay resource tax to landowners, Mr. Speaker, sir. Water Authority Fiji, Mr. Speaker, sir, is funded by government. It's funded by government, sir. So the government will be funding this tax. It's not a private entity. The entire operations and capital expenditure of Water Authority Fiji is funded by government. And, of course, Water Authority Fiji is not in Lao. So how will the Laoan people benefit from this? There may be more resources used in one particular province than any, some other resource, uh, provinces. Will they get a larger chunk of the tax? What will happen to those people who don't actually have those industries in their provinces? Will they get the tax? Will the people who have more resources being used by these entities say, hey, you give us the bulk of it? Guess what it's going to do? It's going to lead to provincial differences. 